We're very much a smart ass. We're very much we're very cynical. Uh, and this is how we roll. This is your beloved D- Drew and Mike, the uh, the the uh, the gods of Detroit radio. Those old pieces of shiz with a Z. <laughs> and that freak show spice that have completely bit off our entire radio career. They're yeah, next. The, the 89X peeps. Yeah, the 89 Dave and the Dave Army and the Fag Army and the Freak Army and whatever the hell you guys call yourself. You're next, my friends. Believe me. And if you were to be truly honest with everybody in Detroit, you've ripped half our stuff off. We've been, uh, we've been doing radio for 25 years. You guys just started. And you suck. You absolutely suck. Take a long, hard look at yourself in the mirror. And just, just just be thankful that we're on a signal that's not that good because you would be completely our bitch. Dave and Jim and the freaks and whatever the hell. And your freak army, really? You're going to be honest with yourself and tell, tell the people where you truly got that? Or better yet, we'll call you on Tuesday. You're going to take our phone call? Let's go live on live. I don't have anything to hide. Do you? Of course you do. You're a bunch of pussies. Drew and Mike, you're old. You're past your prime. The freaks, Dave and Jim and Fred and all you other on 89X, you're a bunch of wannabe biters. We'll continue to accentuate that within 94.3, the, the, the bone in Detroit, daily. Believe me, we will. We've come in markets, guns a-blazing before Spice and done well, and then we've laid down and, and, and played nice. Well, I'm done playing nice because nice sucks. Right? I agree. Exactly. exactly. So 94.3, Detroit, The Bone, it's on, bitch. And our sites are on two shows. The 89X, I don't even know the names of those jobbers who's completely ripped off a lot of our stuff and suck. And then Grandpa, the two gramps in the morning, Dave and Mike, you shouldn't win in Detroit because you're old and you don't like change. You should. You either have a good show and you bring it and you're not a pussy, and you're a man's man show, like us, or not. That's what Detroit's all about. God, if there was a rugged-ass city, it's Detroit. Why in the hell do you put up with status quo? Because we're talking about the Pistons game? Well, I can talk about the Pistons game. I can talk about the Red Wings. I can talk about the Tigers, the Lions, with the best of them. Don't, don't be a homer or a homo. Homos listen to 89X. Homers listen to Drew and Mike. If you just want to be a, I don't know, 18 to 54-year-old rugged dude that likes cynical, in-your-face, ass-kicking man radio, it doesn't matter where it's derived from, whether it's across the river or whether it's in Detroit or whether it's in Tampa, Florida. Good is good and suck is suck, and we're not on the backside of that, bitch. That's the way I figure it. How about y'all? I'm with it. Ned, how about it? Suck how it. How about it? Suck it. Suck is suck, and we don't suck. And they do. My God, you know what? You'd be perfect fit for the Drew and Mike show. No, you're cool. You're old, but you don't suck. No way. They old, they're old, and they suck. So how about that? See you guys Tuesday. Ah, uh, here we go. Nine fifty-eight. Uh, Manson, what's the what's the work, what's the working title? Uh, Bad Detroit, Michigan radio. Yeah, Chaz found this clip for me. I think he found it in thirty seconds. I said, uh, "Find me something with Drew and Mike sounding really old." And ten seconds later, he said, "Here, I have one." Ah, uh, here we go. Nine fifty-eight. One hundred and one. WRIF. It's Drew and Mike. It's horrible. <laughs> it's like it's unprepared. It's just. It's just. Hack. Brown kids, and I'll tell you about the good old days. Oh, you know, when I was your age, I had to walk 20 miles just to get to school. And back then, we didn't have pacifiers. We had to suck on pieces of wood. And in my day, we didn't have TV sets. You suck on wood? That's what he said. We used to sit on a grandpa's lap all evening and listen politely to his entertaining stories. Could you and my dad any older? They used to be cool, but those days are over. I listen to them. They're such a bummer. I'd rather get by Joe the Plumber. Their show is stale, I say. These two dicks. The Bubba Show is five brand new pricks. Two 60-year-old wacky DJs. Is the show good? No. Anyway, that Detroit, Michigan radio. Ah, uh, here we go. Oh, yeah. It blows, whoa. Radio. Ah, here we go. Now, where were we? Ah, here we go. The important thing was that I had an onion on my belt, which was a style. 
at the time. They didn't have white onions because of the war. Bob show loves marijuana. So play along and fire up some ganja. There is a new guy on the bone. A big fat ass on a big fat throne. Drew and my. Why I gotta be fat and big? Why I gotta be a big fat ass? I don't know. Just right. I've been asking that for years. The dog's still getting older. I hear those two moves walk you off for a quarter. Two sixty-year-old wacky DJs. Is the show good? No. no. Wow. Way bad Detroit, Michigan radio. Uh, here we go. Drew and Mike. Uh, here we go. Blows radio. We should give this to uh, Drew Spice to put on the Bone website up there at Michigan. Sure. And in those days, Bad Detroit, Michigan Radio. The good old days. Bad Detroit, Michigan Whoa, Radio. Ah, uh, here we go. Drew and Mike, they're getting old. They f***ing wow. blow. They f***ing wow. blow. They're getting old. They f***ing wow. blow. Ah, uh, 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 here we go. Here we go. go.